Flickr. It's the place you got all your pictures. But there's a lot more you can do with it. And I wanted to show you a few tools that I use, especially the organizer, that help me do things to many pictures, including, uh, as I will show you, uh, making these things on the right called sets, which are collections of images that you control and decide which ones go in and you have a nice little gallery and slideshow etc. This is from my own effort at doing daily photography every day. But your friend here is the Flickr organizer. And it's a tool maybe that not many people look at. So it will show you all the pictures you've recently added and you just pick the ones that you want to work with. So if you know I seem to have Jim Groom in a lot of my photos lately so I can scroll through and I can pick through my recent pictures or I can even search uh, I can find things that just have Jim Groom in them and I might find maybe a few more so whatever I want to do these images the organizer uh, lets me do so uh, I want to clear this batch because I really don't want to create a Jim Groom thing but one thing you might want to do, and I suggest, is maybe make a set of all your daily create work. And that way you can have them seen in one place on your Flickr site. So if you've just been starting with the daily create, you can probably just go through and find the ones that you've done. Like I know I did that bicycle one uh, recently. And you can go through and pick them. But you can also search. And that is the power of tagging. So I have been tagging my images uh, daily create. So I'm going to put tag in this in the search field. I'm going to do that. I'm going to search that. And then I'm going to multiple select these, put them all in there, and I've got the, the images that I want. Now you can do certain things to this. You can add a tag to this full set if you want to. So if you haven't tagged on daily create, you can do that. You can um, edit the dates. I don't know why you would necessarily do that. You can actually you know look at each one and you can do some editing um, to it if you decide that the caption is wrong. But what we want to do is we want to add it to a set. So I'm going to create a new set and I'm going to call this uh, Daily Create. And you create a little subtitle here, uh, Photos uh, I Have Done for the Daily Create. And I'll put the URL HTTP, QPP, I'm so bad at my URLs, I'm doing a semicolon. <laughs> this is live screencast where it happens and then I'm going to save it and I have this new set called daily create and I can come in here now one thing that you can do with this is you can shuffle the orders of these uh, and also if you like you can pick which one is sort of used as the icon to represent it you can also arrange it uh, by order of date and I'll ask you if that's the order that you want you can do some batch editing etc so the organizer is a really powerful tool for working with uh, your photos and doing not just sets. You can put sets in the collections. You can put photos on a map. And again, you can mass apply tags. If I go back to my, um, oops, I didn't say that. So if I go back to my photo stream, I will now have on the top this new daily creates set. And that it becomes part of my total Flickr package. Now if you have a basic Flickr account you can create up to three sets. I have a pro account which gives you um, unlimited number of sets so I have lots of sets on my site. And sets can just be useful ways to organize things. So I've got a lot of different ones for projects, uh, from travel, I got one about my dog. Uh, another set that you might consider, I have one called favorites. So I've picked uh, the best photos uh, that I think I have and I put them into one set and you can share them uh, by Twitter you can post them to your blog you can put them in the slideshow format that's really a nice way uh, to view your sets so uh, Flickr sets give you a lot of power the organizer gives you a lot of power about organizing your photos it's another little oh look at that doggy isn't he sweet I love that dog anyhow Distraction by Dogs. This is Cog Dog, another how to screencast for DS 106. Get out there and be creative.